The Healing Power of the Dog It's a proven fact that dogs make you feel less alone, or not alone at all. They are always by your side. They know when you need attention, or less. When you're sick, they stay right beside you and they make you heal faster. I think this is why dogs live such a short life, because of our neediness sucks the life out of them. Unlike cats that make you feel more alone. This is why cats live so long, because they draw the life force out of their human companion. If you don't believe me, ask a dog. Dogs are there when people are not. Even if you live with someone else, it doesn't mean you're not lonely. Dogs are your companions, your confidants, and your best friends. Dogs love it when you tell them about your day. I would dare say most people are alone because they bore people to death with their stories. That's not why I'm alone, but I do tell a lot of stories. You can tell a dog anything and they love to hear it. Dogs are good for your heart. A comprehensive review published between 1950 and 2019 found that dog owners had a lower risk of death from stress and heart-related diseases. I say this is true for me because I have to share half my food with them. If I don't, I have to go eat in the other room with the door locked. When I come out, my dogs look at me like I betrayed them. Because I did. I know experts say, don't give your dog people food. I think this is because the dog food industry is in league with the news agencies because people that share their food with their dogs, they don't purchase as much dog food. I'm not the only one that thinks this either. Ask your dog. Dogs help you stop stressing out. Multiple studies show that dogs and therapy dogs help alleviate stress and anxiety. Petting your dog relieves stress. I know if I didn't have my dogs to pet at night when I watch TV, I wouldn't have a sound sleep. Although I'm not sure when they're constantly placing their heads under my hand, it's me they're thinking about. Dogs encourage you to move. When owning a dog, you must feed them, take them on walks, clean up after them, groom them, Clean up all the hair they leave on your clothes, on your bed, under your bed, and sometimes in your mouth. And if you didn't do all this, they would still love you. Although I've always done that, so I'm not actually sure that's the truth. You do all that for your kids, and it's hit or miss if they're going to love you or not. I will admit that in the beginning, the dog hair grossed me out. But they give so much, after a while, you don't even think about it. Then it just grosses out people that don't have dogs. Dogs can make you look more attractive. If you're looking for a date, it might be time to get a dog. A dog's presence makes you appear more and more likable and attractive. If you don't believe me, <laughs> ask your dog. Dogs can make you more social. I'm not a social person, but I do talk to people with dogs. You can control how often you want to interact with other people by taking your dog to a dog park. You stand around, you watch 
your dog play with the other dogs and talk to strangers about dogs. You might hear people say, I rescued my dog. I would never buy a dog from a puppy mill. Or, I'm a vegetarian. E even though you didn't ask. You might answer, I rescued mine from a puppy mill. Or you can say, I only eat fish and chicken. At least, that's what I say. And then they wander off to talk to someone else. Dogs make us happy. Just looking at a dog can lift your spirits. A 2009 study found that staring into a dog's eyes raises your levels of oxytocin, also known as the love hormone. This happens even if you're not a pervert. Understand that everything I just told you is of my own opinion. I'm not an expert, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. I am, however, a dog owner, and I've had a lot of dogs. So goodbye for now, and I'll see you next time.